Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me once again today for another debacle. Uh, Rilkesent, Aiden Clark, Drunet McShadier, Realms32, Daverson, Pedro, Damat, Alec, Drunet, Miss Grell, Tetrawolf, Sardong Knight, Geji Janko. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, let me, uh, let me swap the, the in-game music back on and stop the the extra music that I bring in from outside to create ambiance. There we go. The slightly, uh, the slightly more subdued underwater music. Hey, do me, hey, Nipotary. All right, so we're gonna start a new game because that that game was not, uh, uh, shall we say, working. Uh, we're gonna start a new game. We're not gonna play on Superhuman. We're gonna cut it down to Veteran because uh, on Superhuman. That just wasn't, man, that was just a bad, a bad decision, you know? It was a problem. We were just getting shot left, right, and center. I could probably eventually fight my way through that, but I'd like to see if we can actually get through to some of the game here. So let's go on veteran. Let me make sure that my settings are right. We are using the starting defensive base. Beyond that, we have, like, the improved Gauss mod, which might be a decent idea. Hey, Ben. Um... Gives us more bullets and increases heavy gauss damage. So it basically makes it more like the laser rifles from... I mean, this is actually is actually what makes the gauss weapons roughly equivalent to laser weapons. In the sense that they have infinite ammunition. Uh, I don't think we need that, though. I think we're just going to do it... I think we're going to do it the regular way. Uh, if you want to be a soldier, you have to ask when I am recruiting soldiers. Or you have to donate money. One of the two. Either works. All right. Let's set our base. We tried the, like, Caribbean base last time. So, let's try over here. Let's try, let's go over here in, like, the East China Sea. That's what I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go over there. And we're gonna call this one, as we, we discussed this last time, this is the soup, because that's what we're in. All right. Let's get our sub pens set up in our good old standard configuration. We got general stores, living quarters, a laboratory, a workshop, and a standard sonar. And let's get some more stuff built. Ah, there we go. So we need a wide array sonar. We need an alien containment. We need another living quarters. And we need another workshop or laboratory, but that's going to have to wait because we only have three places. Really, I should have spread these out more so I could build more things at once, but I'm dumb. What can I say? Hey, Roscoe. Hey, Broken. Nice to see you all. So, uh, yeah, let's talk Aquanauts, shall we? Um, people were, I think somebody was already volunteering, and we've got some starting Aquanauts, so we're just going to start naming them right now. Who was it who said they wanted one already? If we go back down, up, scroll up the chat a little bit. Tetra Wolf, I think. Let's start with Tetra Wolf, just because that's the first one I see. So Tetra Wolf is a uh, a, mo a mook, a fairly high grade mook, but a mook overall. We've got. Womp womp. Ben Gibbons. Ben Gibbons is a sharpshooter. 60 firing accuracy, not bad. And we have... Jake Crowley. Who is also a sharpshooter. Um, actually a better sharpshooter. 
to be totally honest. Uh, did I train for today's session by doing laps around the swimming pool? Man, I haven't gone swimming in a long time, I'll tell you what. Oh, scat, chat keeps running. Chat keeps running so fast. Y'all gonna have to be a little bit patient with me. Uh, Broken25 won the red shirt. Broken25 is a heavy weapons guy, actually. High strength, finally. Somebody who doesn't have noodle arm syndrome. And we've got... Wop, wop, wop. Humanitarian Raccoon. Uh, does that mean, like, a raccoon who is, like, uh, uh, peaceful and helpful, or a raccoon who eats people? I think it's probably the second one. Humanitarian Raccoon is another heavy weapons guy, another high strength bro. Hey, Daniel Black, nice to see me. Uh, Triff. Nice to see you joining us. We've got Triff. Triff is a scout with high reactions and very high bravery. That's unwise. We've got... Not Sid, Sir. Dong Knight, who is a... Uh, no, wait, I thought that was firing accuracy, but it was not. I was wrong. He is like a... Grunt. I thought that 73 was firing accuracy for a minute. And we've got Gamaranma, who is a sharpshooter. A decent strength score, too. And that's going to be all that we have for this round. So that's where we cut off. Everybody else, just uh, hold on for it. Alright. So, there's our starters. Now let's... do some recruiting. We need another, like, I don't know, 12 Aquanauts, maybe? Uh, we're gonna put the rest of our, our living space into scientists. We don't need engineers or technicians. They are in this one yet. Because, uh, they don't have anything really good to do. Uh, we also need to buy... Let me think. I'm thinking I might try the Jet Harpoons. Against the Aquatoids, they might work. So, yeah, let me buy, like... Let me buy some more Jet Harpoons. Uh, the gas cans were doing okay, but I really need to not use the AP bolts. Like, the HE bolts were so much more effective. So, yeah, let's get a bunch of gas cannons with HE bolts. The Hydrojet cannons, I don't really want a lot of sitting around because you can't use them above, above the water. Same with the torpedo launchers. We'll keep this one, but I'm not going to buy more of them. And then let's get... Oh, I'm out of storage space. Hey, Alec, thanks for the $5, dude. Yeah, absolutely. I can name somebody after Bill Duke. That's not a problem. Uh, okay, let's cut out, like, a few of these in order to buy some die grenades. And some chemical... Oh, God, I need some chemical flares. Please give me chemical flares. Oh, God, I need them so badly. Okay, that'll be fine. Uh, we need... Oh, yeah, we're gonna need another general stores. Yikes. Okay. Let's go! Got some stuff. And we got some more troopers. So, first of all, we've got our good friend Belduke, who is a sharpshooter. Pretty decent one all around, too. Actually, it's a sharpshooter scout, because he's got high reactions as well. That's fantastic. And then, where do we, where do we cut off last time? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Because we got Triff, we got Bim, we got Tetra Wolf, we got Gamaran, uh, Roscoe. Roscoe Pentney. Pentney, not Pentnet. He is a mook. Just one of those, one of those meat walls. We got Robin Brown, who is a scout. High reaction time. Always good to see. We have got Abi. Abi who is a very, very fast scout. Look at that. 60 reactions, 70 stamina. Runs all day, super high reaction time. Super low reaction time, rather, I should say. Uh, we got good old Billy Coble, who is a sharpshooter, but a coward. That's fine. You know, cowardly snipers, working as intended, kind of. Drunit. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Did we already have a Drunit? No, we didn't already have a Drunit. Good. Uh, Drunut is a mook. One of the mookiest. We got... 
Geji Junk. Ah, I keep misspelling that stuff. Junko, there we go. Geji Junko. Who is. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. Geji Junko is pretty fucking bad. Like, I'm sorry, but. 20 bravery, 30 reactions, 40 some firing accuracy, 43 stamina, 25 health. Uh, hmm. Boy. That's not a. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Got Miss Grell. I can't type today. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Who is a sharpshooter? And we've got... Uh, did we already have a Nick Swanson? No. We've got the man with no name. Now to be revealed as Nick Swanson. Who is almost a sharpshooter, but not quite. Uh, we're gonna go with, with Grunt for right now, but we'll, we'll check back in on Nick soon. Uh, we've got SCC Demat. Who is, uh, like a heavy weapons guy. 37 strength, that's good enough to be a heavy weapons guy for now. Uh, we have Ben, I think we already got Ben, so I think we skip down to Mike. And then Kronos. Mike is a mook, very high throwing accuracy, which is nice, but very low strength. So he's precise, but a wimp. We got Kronos 12 who is almost a scout, but not quite. He's a heavy weapons guy, actually, high strength. And that, once again, is the setup. Okay. Oh, Jack Black wanted to be in there. Okay, Jack Black, I'll get you the first next time. I'm sorry, I didn't see that uh, that donation because I was scrolled up in chat. But thanks for the two bucks, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, there we go. We got it. That's our loadout. That's the 20 people we start with. Let's equip our good old Triton here with our brave seaman. And we're going to take the die grenades, the flares. We're going to take the... Uh, we're going to take all the HE bolts and, like, eight gas cannons. We've got six jet harpoons. I guess I didn't need to buy any. We're going to take the dart guns away because they're fucking useless. So six jet harpoons, eight gas cannons. We only actually, I guess, need seven. And then we have one guy on the torpedo launcher, and that should be fine. That's 14 weapons. Okay, good. Don't worry, we're almost done with the setup. Almost, almost ready. I'm gonna sell those, sell those. Uh, we'll keep those for now, I guess. We're gonna sell the AP bolts, because screw them. We're gonna sell those. And then, we're gonna put the Ajaxes on you, we're gonna put the Dup on you, and we're gonna sell all of our craft gas cannons, because they're also useless. And then we're gonna buy some more Dup launchers. Okay. There we go, we're all, we're all good. We're rolling, we're ready to go. Things are happening. Should I be called Admiral Confusion? No, of course not. That's just confusing. When I get a new base, name it Sealand. Uh, I'll consider that. I think we had a couple of other, a couple other good suggestions beforehand. Uh, Rapture, of course, was already destroyed. Well, we've got the soup. Uh, Sealand's pretty good one. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's pass some time, shall we? Uh, let's actually research some shit because we're not doing that yet. Let's start researching. You know what? This time, I think let's research the. Yeah, let's research Gauss Tech first. Might as well. Commodore confusion. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that works, maybe. Okay, so you got the Ajaxes. I'm just gonna rearm one, one boat at a time, so you can have the dup. I'm actually surprised. We've, like, that we haven't been attacked. We haven't seen any aliens yet. I guess maybe they just don't like China. Maybe the aliens are secretly Donald Trump. They just hate China. I think that might be it, guys. I think we've cracked the code. Sell all of that shit. Buy more dups. There we go. Hey, Herdalas, how's it going? Uh, yeah, Jack Black, it's, it's literally... It's literally UFO defense. Hey, Galdir, yes, I restarted, because that was a disaster. Just an absolute goddamn disaster. 
Ah, finally, a sub. See if we can get it to land or shoot it down or something or other. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a completely different game. It's uh, way harder and more frustrating. That's the difference. I think he's I think he's outbound. I think he already did his mission and now he's just going to leave. Oh nope, he came back at us. All right, let's shoot him down. Knocked him down. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Are we ready for this, guys? Let's launch the Triton. We're going to show these aliens what for. So. Ah, first mission. Fortifying sip of water. So first we've got Tetra Wolf, which a, with a very fashionable small, uh, small afro. Uh, Tetra Wolf is a grunt, so we're going to give him a Jet Harpoon. Because that's uh, what he deserves. He gets a die grenade, because he's going to be going out first. Chem Flare and Magna Blast Grenade. Ben Gibbons, who is a sharpshooter, gets a Gas Cannon. And some HE Bolts. And also gets a Chem Flare. Jake Crowley, likewise. Gas Cannon, Bolts, Flare. Broken 25 gets the torpedo launcher. There we go. Humanitarian Raccoon gets a gas cannon. Doop. 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 And can also carry a backup small torpedo? No, that's too heavy. Uh, Triff. Triff is a scout with low accuracy. Let's give Triff. Uh, actually, he got 40 strength. So why didn't I? Why didn't I number Triff as a heavy weapons guy as well? That was an oversight on my part. Well, we'll give Triff an explosive cannon here. Sir Dong Knight gets a rifle. Why? Because shut up. That's why. Gamma gets a gas cannon. Belduke. Uh, Belduke has a low strength, so I'm actually going to give Belduke a jet harpoon, because that's 10 weight versus 23. So let's do that, and then you can actually carry a useful amount of other stuff as well. Here, you can have two grenades as compensation. Uh, Roscoe, yep, jet harpoon. Ah, uh, we're out of flares. Yep, shit. Well, that's no good. Uh, wait, 28? Yep, once again. Not going to be able to take the, the big cannon. Abby can take a cannon. Abby has some muscle on him. Billy Koble gets a jet harpoon. That should be almost everybody. Drunut can have a gas cannon despite- oh my god, Drunut's such a, a, a baby man. All right, Tetra, you know what? We're swapping you out. We're swapping out some stuff for you here. You get to carry this giant cannon because Drunut's a weakling. No, don't tell him we said that. It would only hurt his feelings. I mean, hi, Drunut. How's it going? Okay, good to go. Here we are. Let's prime this grenade. And huh. Not enough time units. Oh god damn it. Alright, just just drop it. Like at your feet. Someone else have one we could throw outside? Yes, okay, good. Uh throw that there. Jake, pick it up. Prime it. And shut Oh, that's the edge of the map. Oh, well, okay then. Can you throw it like up this way? Yeah, we're... Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not... I ain't even mad about that. That's good. We have cover. We can deploy against the edge of the map. I love it. And it is a daytime mission, so we don't need the, uh... As little sense as the concept of daytime at the bottom of the ocean makes, it means we don't need the... 
you know, the die grenades. Can I see anything? This is actually full cover over here. Like, you can't see over the nose of this, uh, this submarine. Which is good. And, oh my god, that's the USO. Right there. I... Why? Why did we put down here? Edge of the zone, my ass! Landed us right in front of the enemy. Uh, I'd like to get someone up on top of the submarine. But I'd also like not to be uh, immediately murdered, so let's just kind of line up like this. I'm thinking that's going to be what it is for right now. The second half of the squad will disembark next turn. Alright. Okay. Alright, now we have vision. Okay, yep, they did explode. Good. Normally I don't say it's good that they exploded, but you know what, to be honest, this mission I'm, I'm less concerned with earning the maximum amount of Zerbite, and more concerned with not everyone dying. That's my, like, big deal right now. Okay, there's a guy with a goddamn sonic cannon standing directly outside. God damn it, humanitarian raccoon, you are worthless and weak, and going to bleed to death. Fucking really? That upsets me. 21 time units for an auto shot. 21 for a snapshot. What the fuck was that? What? I'm sorry. I'm confused. What explosives did I just hit underwater? That blew up this whole, like, area. I'm confused. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, if we win this in the next uh, two rounds, Humanitarian Raccoon will live. Let's see if that's, uh, let's see if that's in the cards. Uh, and excuse you, no, I did not have a rocket aiming over the lip. This is a rocket aiming over the lip. See? Totally different. Let's have Broken 25 just kind of kneel there, cautiously. Ben, that's the edge of the map, so I think we're pretty safe if we stick to this side of the smoke. So we can have Ben and Drunut head down this way. That should be okay, because this should block vision. Uh, we'll send Billy Cobble with him as well. Billy Cobble, Billy Cable, Cable, Billy Cobble. I think it's Billy Cobble. And then we have Humanitarian Raccoon is just going to stand here on the wing of the plane and bleed to death. Quietly. We've got... Uh, we don't have a lot of places to go that involve having cover from all sides. We've got pretty good vision over there. So an alien, hopefully, and we've got some smoke. So from most angles, an alien shouldn't be able to shoot us if we're standing there. So let's get Sir Dong Knight over there. Triff, likewise. Aha, Billy Coble. Got it. Gamorama. What I don't want is somebody turning this corner and shooting down this way and killing anyone except Humanitarian Raccoon, who is already dead. So let's get Gamorama kneeling there. No, no, wrong, bad, stop. 
Fun fact, you can hit escape to make people stop. If you can remember to do that in time while you're flailing around, trying to remember how to make people stop. See, that square. It looks like you can stand there, but if you try to, it'll walk all the way around to put you up on the on the wing. No bueno. Es no bueno. Alright. No movement and a short turn, so hopefully there aren't that many left alive. Uh, Crowley really shouldn't be in the front. Let's send Sir Dong Knight over here first. Okay, found one. Hello, Aquatoid, my old friend. I've come to blow you up again. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Ha! Ah, get a load of this guy! He thinks we have medics! Oh, this is a very small submarine. Wow. This was a... A very small submarine. And or most of it exploded. Let's get Triff down this way. I think basically only the control room is left. Well, who knows? Humanitarian Raccoon might actually survive this if there aren't that many aliens left. We've cleared half the zone. I think he's probably going to die, though. Like, I'm just, I'm just being honest here. I'm not trying to give anybody false hope or nothing. Let's hide behind that hill bank. Get Ben down this way. How much do retired XCOM get paid? Man, if you survive to retire from XCOM, I think you can you can ask for whatever paycheck you want. It's just there's a really big if attached to that statement. Please recall that in the first Alien War, we had about a 65-70% casualty rate, I think, by the end. I mean, I'm sorry, not casualty rate, fatality rate. The casualty rate was way higher. Alright. We got good old Jake Crowley here. Ready to go. Gamma Run, uh, yeah, join them. Bell Duke, get over this way. And Robin, I'll tell you what, Robin, why don't you join the, the, the top of the ship sniper crew? Okay. Okay, raccoon. Tell us what's inside. What's that? A whole bunch of incomprehensible alien garbage? Okay. Great. I love it. I, I think, I don't know what that is. I think it may be a mine. Well, now I'm standing on top of it, and apparently moving on to that took a whole bunch more time units than I expected, so Sir Dog Knight is just sort of standing there. Like an asshole. Tell you one thing about this game, there sure is a lot of cover on these maps. Even if it's not very good. Let's get a rocket reloaded. Everybody's out of out of like sight line of up here, so we can now move this team out in front. 
That should be fine. Yeah, I keep forgetting that, that sand takes more time units to move across than dirt above ground does. Keep forgetting that. Alright, Triff, head up this way. Crouch facing out into the blackness. Brooding on your swift and inevitable death. Jake, why don't you come up, like, right there and take a knee? Okay. All right, we're sweeping. Humanitarian Raccoon is about to die of blood loss, but, you know, that these things happen. There he goes. What, really? No, it doesn't. There's no swastika-shaped sandbank here. You can definitely see the craters, though. We've had an impact on the landscape. Alright, yep, F's in chat for, uh, for poor raccoon. First casualty. He went out in unimpeachable XCOM style. He hit himself with the backblast of a rocket underwater and then bled to death. That's how we die around here. We don't have... Are you talking about this one? That is not... I mean, okay, I kind of see it. But, like, it doesn't have... I don't know, man. That's not quite a swastika. It's got, like, extraneous bits. It's got other things impinging. I. It's not... That's not a very good... That's not a very Nazi strip sandbank, I'm just saying. Alright. Hide! Become one with the coral. I am in the coral, and the coral is in me. Oh god, that sounded... Hmm, that's, uh, that's uncomfortable. Never mind that. Scratch that. We'll fix that in post. There, boy, there sure is a lot of coral up here. Hey, Haloon! Nice to see ya. I mean, would, would you like me to fire another rocket into it? Because, look, I already took out part of it. I'll do it again. Like, you think I won't. I mean, I'm not going to do it this turn because there's, like, four people on it. But, you know, we'll see. Abby. Do you see any aliens? What do your aquatic eyes see? Nothing. Fucking nothing. Who, where is this last, these last two aliens? Or last alien, however many there are. Where are they? Oh god! Broken, you fuck. I was trying to make a dumb joke about destroying an offensive sandbank, and you had to overshoot and kill- Alright, that's it. No more- no more fun. We're not allowed to have fun, guys. It gets people killed. We're not allowed- no more fun. It's not allowed. Can't have fun. People die anytime I have fun.
Oh god, and now he's panicked. No, don't run, Berserk. Please, god, what are you doing? Hey, look, look, this is Jake Crowley's fault. I told him I'd do it. He said I wouldn't, but I told him I would. I made a promise. I keep my promises. It's all Jake's fault. What the fuck is that? All right, this alien is here somewhere. He's got to be here somewhere. This is absolutely how it works, Jake. I blame you for this. This man, this man right here, this, this man, it's his fault. Shun him. On the plus side, we've created cover. Oh god. I found him. I found I found the alien. He's over there. He's over by the oil pipes. You know, the ones that you guys just told me not to blow up, that I'm gonna blow up. Why is your gun still loaded? Why is... Oh, I, I reloaded it. That's right. Never mind me. I'm dumb. I'm the dumb one. Okay, uh, so, so that's too close. That's within alien shooting distance. So, Roscoe is gonna run the fuck away. Robin... Uh, hmm. If I shoot this with just regular guns, do you think it blows up? Let's find out. Oh my god, it does! Jesus Christ, it blows up large, no less. It looks like that was just smoke, though. It doesn't look like that actually destroyed much of anything. What about this one? Yup. Okay, well, interesting. I learned something new today. And I mean, those were just harpoons. Like, there was no explosive component to those weapons whatsoever. Just straight up pointy sticks. Okay, Broken's freaked out. Broken, you did- oh, Please, people, stop, stop. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. Yeah, I was hoping that would be more destructive. Um, I was hoping that would, like, kill the alien, but it didn't, so... That's a disappointment. Um, kind of, kind of unfortunate that. Hmm. Enclave, appreciate the poop emoji, dude. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. A compliment for my impressive XCOM skills. Alright, pick up your gun, fucking Billy. Help us out here. Stop freaking out. Oh no, Jake, you can't escape. You cannot escape your responsibility. You can't get away from this. This is what you wanted. You did this. You did this.
It'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Don't ask me why a doctor has been put in charge of a secret underwater paramilitary organization. Alright, Robin, pick up this torpedo launcher. You're gonna be the hero. Since Broken is busy screaming and running around in circles- Oh my god, Robin, why? Why do you do this to me? Don't worry about it, Phaonix. It's fine. Also, thanks for the two dollars. We'll, uh, we'll put you in. Once we- once we're done with this debacle. Uh, boy, that created a lot of smoke. Also, I don't like the fact that smoke doesn't show up on this map. I guess it's technically dye since we're underwater, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't show up. I also wonder why, if it's supposed to be dye, why it, uh, why it shows up around the crash. Like, that's clearly smoke. Uh, ba 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 Hello? Aliens? Any, uh, any aliens here? No, see, like, these things right here, the blue things, those are air bubbles. You can see air bubbles going up from our, uh, our, our dudes. But this is, like, some kind of particle effect. Maybe it's sand. Just disturbed underwater sand. Uh, Jake... Yeah, Jake, you execute the flanking maneuver here. Broken is just gonna... Stand around crying about it like a wimpy baby man. Uh, we'll send Triff to help with the flank. Hold on, Triff. Wait, stop. Okay, you didn't stop, but that's all right. That's that's fine. That's what I wanted. Roscoe. 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 Okay, Roscoe made it to some cover. God, no! Gamoranma, you fuck. Come on, you have morale 59. You shouldn't be going berserk on me. What difficulty is this, veteran? As to where the alien is, I probably he must be like right back here. That's the only place left. He's just he's just hiding from us. Assiduously. Uh, shit, we can't make cover. Run for it. Run for it, lads. Closing in from all sides. He can't stay away from us forever. Alright, are you are you back? Are you better? Are you ready to pick up your gun and be a productive member of the team again? Uh, yeah, just throwing a bomb in there actually probably isn't a bad idea. Because he might be hiding anywhere in this smoke. So let's tell you what, let's clear out a little bit of the cover. Robin, are you... You good, bro? Broheim, Brosif, you chill? Ah, uh, no, actually, stay up there. Oh! 
There he is. All right, so he was... He, there he is. He's right there. We flushed him out. I don't want to take that shot. That shot seems incredibly risky. Okay, there we go. And that's it! Great! Nobody died. No casualties. Excellent. Fantastic mission. Love it. It was great. Everything went well. Don't read that screen. Let's uh let let's get to let's uh, let's get to uh you know doing some some stuff right yeah good uh sonic pistols rifles pulsar we only need one corpse so we can just keep one ah we captured a magnetic navigation yay great fantastic I didn't mean to press cancel on that just sell those bodies please uh yeah for some reason there's uh there's fewer aquanauts funny how that works uh hey broken 25 got promoted to ensign good job broken 25 look you increased in firing accuracy very very slightly uh ben gibbons got promoted got some more health some more stamina i mean lots of people got promoted i'm just looking at the officers and robin brown became an ensign got more health good and more strength also good excellent well, let's fill in some of these uh, inexplicably empty slots on the Triton as soon as it gets back to base. Take Geji, Miss Grell, Nick Swanson, and SCC Demat with us. That'll be fine. Uh, still good on gas cannons, still good on jet harpoons. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Fantastic. Good mission, guys. Good, good mission. And we successfully researched the Gauss Pistol. So, the Gauss Pistol. Gauss weapons are theoretically developments from plasma weapons, but they're way worse than plasma weapons, which is, so it's funny that they would say they were an advanced like a, a more advanced option. Anyway, it's a particle beam, is what it is. Which also wouldn't work underwater uh, at all, but we'll leave that science aside because science has no place where we're going. It's basically like the laser pistol. Uh, low accuracy, auto fire. Actually, decent accuracy, auto fire. It also has a decent accuracy aimed shot. Not super high, but you can fire it twice. So that's fine. And then we can research the clips for it which I'm gonna go ahead and do. This probably isn't the ideal research path, but I'm gonna go ahead and research the Gauss pistol clips. You do have to pay to manufacture those, and we'll, uh, if I recall, Gauss pistols cost just money, but I think the clips cost, I forget if the clips cost a Zerbite. We'll see, we'll find out. Okay, but we've got our living quarters in. Let's build another general stores off of that, and then another uh, we've got a alien containment wide array sonar. Sonar. Let's get a workshop going. Let's build a workshop, and then let's hire some more technicians. And we're gonna start manufacturing. So we can we can make Gauss pistol clips now. I think we just hit that research. And we view the reports. Yeah, they do 45 damage, so they do pretty decent damage. Uh, but we have to manufacture them, and they cost... what do they cost? Pistol power clips. Oh no, that's research. Hold on one second. Go to manufacture. They cost... oh no, they just cost a thousand bucks. Okay, well that ain't too bad. If we make Gauss pistol clips... Yeah, we make 12,000 per one we sell. So we can start making these bad boys to sell. Um, I want to have some to equip our troops with, so let's make, like, 12, and then we'll start selling them. Okay, and we've got our alien containment, and our money is almost gone, but that should be fine, because we'll get more money at the end of the month for doing such a good job. Just being so swell. You know, it'll be fine. Uh, I didn't want graphs. I wanted bases. 
Oh, there's another alien sub. Let's send a, uh, send a Barracuda after it. I think we might lose visual. So let's go to, it was going this way, so let's go over there. And you can intercept. Uh, bu -bu 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 let's see if we can let it land. See if it'll land, and then we'll we'll go after it a little bit more seriously if we can get it to land. Where is it going? Where are you going, my dude? All right, five seconds. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Intercept. Don't take off. 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 Yes. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do it to it. We're gonna give him what for. Uh, good old SCC Demat gets a gas cannon. And a flare, which we are actually gonna need this time. And some grenades. Nick Swanson gets a jet harpoon and a flare and a grenade. Miss Grell, who only has 28 weight, gets a gas cannon anyway, because that's just how we roll. Geji gets a gas cannon, and everybody else is already armed. Which is, of course, a phrase that should strike fear into the hearts of any reasonable person. Robin Brown can have an extra grenade. I need to go through and re-jigger re some of these people, because some of these people are strong and should be listed as heavy weapon troopers. Alright, who's got a smoke? Broken's got a smoke. Prime it and toss it. Triff. Prime it. And toss it. Uh, Beldu, General, please don't shoot your own troops this time. No promises. You know how it is. Sometimes these things happen. We also need light. Oh, cool. Pirate treasure. Uh, we're right on the corner again, or pretty close, which is nice. But it is a nighttime mission, which isn't nice. Also, I can still turn off my lights, and it still doesn't do anything, I assume. Let's get, like, out here a little bit into the smoke slash die, slash whatever this stuff is. The Gribbles. Get a light down there. Alright, SDK. Why can't you throw there? Oh, because the wall is blocking you. Well, I mean, fair, I suppose. Three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be fine. We should be should be pretty much covered lighting wise. Gamaranma, can you like lob this over? Yes, good. Just, you know, just so we have a little bit of... a little bit of visibility on the other side. And let's get people moved up a little bit, ready to debark. Mike, how does throwing underwater work anyway? Don't think about it. Just, just don't stop. I can hear you thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. It won't do you any good. Oh my god, we're right next to the USO again. And it's a big one! 
I thought I was a scout. Look at that monstrosity. That's like a medium-sized UFO. How deep are these missions canonically? I don't know. As deep as the ocean is in whatever region you're in. I don't think there's a, a canon answer. Uh, I don't know where the door is, because I'm not sure what the door... I think that might be the door? I don't, I don't know what the door looks like. I really, really don't. I think if we go over on this side, we shouldn't be next to the door. So, hmm. It's on the back, so it's like back here. Is that the door? Is that the door right there facing me? No, because that's a side panel. That's not the door. I don't know where the door is. I'll find out. You know what? We will find out where the door is. We'll, we're in this mission together. We're gonna discover things. We're gonna have a good time. We'll probably roast marshmallows or something. You know what? I think I'm gonna... I think... I think climbing onto the... The trite, the barracuda is probably the, uh... Probably the play here. Because, like, if we can get up and use this thing for cover, then we can go down the other side and we don't have this like big exposed area to be shot in. I think this is the play. Sorry, Yuri, I can't get in I can't gather information right now. I'm making decisions. Always remember, decisions come in advance of information. See, Mathwin, I feel like when you say that, you're like... It's like you're denigrating my ability to set things on fire underwater. And please, let me assure you, XCOM can set things on fire under any circumstances, in any location. It doesn't matter where we are or what's going on, we will set shit on fire. In fact, just in the last mission, we set some shit on fire underwater. It can happen. I promise. That was a UFO door. Yeah, I mean, I can see that it's shaped like a stingray. Like, I get that. I get the, the stylistic design. Is that one of my flares? Hold on. Yes, that should be one of my flares. So let's pick that up. Then throw it, like, down here. Now, Sir Dong Knight, make the run. Make the run! Alright, we made it. Ben Gibbons. Don't want you going first. Roscoe! Why don't you, uh... Why don't you... Oof, boy, that's a... That's an ugly run right there. Yikes. How about you come down, like, right there? Oh, that's- I- I thought that was a cover rock. Uh, that's not cover. Um, oh boy. Uh, yikes. Uh, whoops. That's cover. That's some cover. That's a porthole. 
I still don't know where the fucking what the fucking door looks like. Get some people going around the back side. Let's get. Does Ben have reactions? Ben actually does have reactions. So let's have Ben sitting here ready to provide support fire. No. Ben, stop. That, okay. Well, let's have Ben uh, go back down the wing uh, for no reason. And then we can have Nick right up there hiding. And we can have Matt right up here hiding. And we can have Triff. And Grill. Ready to advance behind them. And Broken can just kind of stay back here with his shame. Okay. Uh, good. Yep, that's what I wanted. Alien sniper fire from out of the darkness. Perfect. Love it, like it, love it, gotta have it. Okay, so that came from right over here. Geji, we appreciate your scouting efforts, uh, particularly in the field of absorbing alien uh, weapon fire with your face. That's the kind of initiative that we, re we really prize in XCOM agents. I don't think I killed it. I didn't hear any death rattles. Okay, so the door is over there. That makes sense. That's fine, then. So let's send... Roscoe down here. That's a hideous looking little... Is that a room? Like, is there space there? No, that's filled with something. That's filled with an alien widget. Let's get Roscoe and Jake down over here. Do either of them still have a flare? No, but there's one there they can pick up. There's actually two here. Sir Dong Knight, go pick this flare up. And throw it over there. Perfect. Uh, Billy. Billy boy. Billy baby. Oh, there he is. I found him. We found the sniper. Um, uh, Matt. You need 44 for an aimed shot. Okay, you need 23 for a snapshot. Perfect! Good job, Matt. I always knew I liked you. So we've got- we've kind of got like a little deployment zone right here. If we can get people past this wall, um, they're gonna be hard because the aliens have to come out here and then come around. And I don't think, I mean, there's probably like seven. Oh my god, this is a long map. Jiminy Christmas. Okay, never mind. We're all going to die. The aliens are waiting with bated breath in ambush uh, to our north. It's all about to go terribly, terribly wrong. I can feel it in my vitals. Uh, Gamaranma. Why don't you, like, come up kind of there-ish? Like, near where Geji was, but not on Geji's body, because that would be rude. Drunat. Yeah, you just stay there.
Now we've got Robin and Billy. Okay. All right. I would love, love, love to get vision on that door so that I can blow up anyone who comes out of it. That's what I want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. You know what I really should have gotten? I really should have brought some prox mines. That would have been super useful. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just put a speculative grenade right outside the door, just in case there's someone standing there who just came outside. Cause you know what? I'm a gambling man. And I feel lucky. And Drunut might be about to die, but nobody tell him that. Okay, Roscoe, be brave. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh god, you can't come back. Alright, just stay there. Let's get Triff over there to join this crew. We need to send some guys around this way to clear this side of the map, which isn't very large. We can send three or four guys over this way to clear this. We've got... Uh, we can send more guys down to sweep this way. And then we're gonna need to take... Cause we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Only eleven? I thought we started with fourteen. Oh wait, eleven... Twelve, thirteen, yes, okay. Very good, good. Needed to know that my numbers weren't completely off. So we'll... We'll get... Three over that way. Couple, couple, three guys going down this way, and then the rest are gonna have to come around here and sweep and, and lock the front of the UFO down. I'm just, I'm really, really worried about more snipers in this area. That would be terrible. But we've got the grenade over there. All right, Billy, Billy baby, Billy boy, just stay there for now. We're gonna, I mean, we gotta go for it at some point. Uh, Broken's got another rocket though, so what I might do any sentence that starts with, got another rocket, by the way, is always a terrible idea. Just in case you weren't aware of that. Alright, Gamarama's gonna be brave. Bravery noted. Um, hmm. I kind of want to try to hit that with a rocket and and make sure that there's no alien like waiting in this zone. Okay, I mean that was short, but all right, I guess. Fine. Nobody died, which is pretty much my standard for effective employment of rocketeers. Like as long as you haven't killed anyone today, like anyone I didn't want you to kill. I'm okay with it. Alright. 
I heard a door. Billy? Geronimo! Oh, okay. Alright, well... Hide. See, I don't know... I just don't know how many aliens are hiding out here. I really, really don't. And that's what's bugging me, because I've killed... Like, two, right? I think I've killed two. So there could be another... Uh, five or six at least. Does anyone here have a smoke? You've got a standard grenade. You've got a smoke. Okay, so Roscoe can, th Roscoe can throw a smoke next turn. Which will help a little bit. Max of 13 on this sub? Okay, well that was... I didn't want to hear that number. That number was too large. I well, woof, that's a, that's a bigger number than I like. Can I like, can we negotiate it down? Like, is there wiggle room there? How about five? How do you feel about five? I think I could handle five. No? Shit. Alright, Gamoranma, run to cover. Use the coral. Become one with the coral. The coral will protect you. Uh... Demat. I'm gonna leave you two there on Overwatch right now. Broken, I'm gonna send you to... I don't fucking know what or where. Robin is gonna come over here and join this crew, which is going to be breaching the sub soon. And won't that be fun? Everyone's gonna enjoy that. Actually, you know what? Just stay... Stay right back there, why don't you? Okay. Broken, yeah, head down this way, Broken. You'll be part of the, the outside sweep team. Every turn in, I'm just sitting here like, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, yes, no whammy. All right, Billy Bob, my boy. You know what time it is. It's time for Billy Bob to be brave. Brave Billy Bob. Yep, that's a door, all right. Okay. Go, brave Billy Bob. Leading the charge. The max number is 11. Okay, see, this is what I like to hear. I like to hear those numbers coming down. Can we keep going with that? Like, how about 9? I think 9 is a great number. Um, it's a perfect square. It's, uh, it represented perfection in, in some ancient cultures. You know, because it's, it's 3 times 3. It's the most stable number. 9? Do you, do, you, do you like 9? No? Yes? Damn it. Yeah, so you may have noticed four of the breaching squad here have dart the, the harpoon guns because those don't explode. Ben Gibbons does have an explosive gun just in case everything goes to shit. But I strongly suspect that inside here using an explosive gun would be a terrible plan. Most of the time. Let's get some smoke right there. Just for funsies.
Oh, hello. Hi, friend. Uh, buongiorno. Uh, die, please. Die, please. No, die. Thank God. Uh, excuse you, Galdir. I have plenty of non-terrible plans. I just don't choose to share them with you or uh, anyone uh, in the world. Ever. But I promise you, they exist. Hey, Ambers. All right, Jake. Only, uh, only two more kills to go before you've redeemed yourself. Just like kneel down, everybody. Actually, here, yeah, kneel down. Maybe the shots will go over your heads. Okay. Okay, I- where- where was that? Where was that alien? There was an alien. Where was he? Was he here? No, where- where the fuck was he? He just walked by- oh, there he is. There you go, Jake. Two out of three. Closing in on it. There's still such a huge fucking expanse of map unseen. My god. All right. Alright, Ben, just do a few quick squats to burn off your excess energy. Make you less prone to rapid-firing explosive bolts into the middle of everybody. And Billy! Oh, it's an airlock. Okay, that makes sense. Um, fuck. Hey, Viper, how's it going? Look, Isaac, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. You know, you just, it's just XCOM, every day is XCOM day around here. I'll probably start interspersing some other things in, but uh, right now I was just, I, you know, I'm still in the XCOM mood. And I, I think it's interesting, I think it's more interesting, shall I say, to go into Terror from the Deep straight from UFO Defense, because on the one hand, it's a very similar experience, and on the other hand, there are a lot of differences in the games, and it's it's interesting stuff. This is uh, alarming. I would categorize this as alarming. Okay, I think with a map this big, what I have to do is I need to clear, I definitely need to clear the UFO before I push on and sweep the rest of the map, just because I don't want to leave people guarding this UFO. So these five are going to clear the UFO while the rest kind of sweep around it and then they'll join back up. Also, y'all say this is a stingray, but look at this and just tell me, like, this is a penis. This is absolutely just a, a straight up alien, like, groinal region. I'm just saying. I'm just saying things here. It's, it's really, it's very crotchular. That's, you know, like, it is what it is. Fucking aliens hiding in sunken ships. Get off our planet, you bastard. Uh, oh boy, broken. Uh, woof, this look, okay, uh, Druna, why don't you just, like, move sideways? Aimed fire, aimed fire, aimed fire, aimed fire. There you go. Yes, we definitely just blew a piece off of a UNESCO uh, human heritage site, but we killed an alien and that's what matters. Ugh.
Okay. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Alright, good. See, it works. The chant works. Any aliens in here? You know, it's been so long since I played this game and actually, like, invaded UFOs that I forgot what a goddamn nightmare these things are to clear. Look at this shit. There's a room back here, there's a room here, there's the tail. At least you move a little bit faster. Alright, a few more squats for Ben. Okay. Yeah, you know, tail, shaft, whatever you want to call it. Dronut advancing slowly through the weeds, the coral. It is also a little bit of a different experience because, like, these maps are A, larger than in UFO Defense, and B, there is so much cover on them. Like, there's cover everywhere. Which, on the one hand, actually makes, I would say, the mission harder because uh, it breaks up your line of sight. And the strategy in UFO Defense was always, and, and always is, you establish essentially a line of snipers, where beyond which scouts can go, but other, but like you basically have an open field in front of you, and you shoot across that open field and kill anything that crosses it. Um, that's really not possible here, just because there are some open fields, but there's also other like cover areas that break up your line of sight, close enough that the aliens can just take pot shots at you and pop out from around corners everywhere and do basically whatever the fuck they want. It's very, uh, it's distressing. It's alarming. It, uh, it hurts my feelings. Sometimes. That's all I'm saying. Like, you know, these aliens, they're just, they're really rude about it. And, you know, uh, sometimes I think that, uh, that shouldn't be, shouldn't be allowed. Alright. Roscoe, how are you helping me right now? Um... I actually need somebody to go back and get that and throw it forward. Why is everything yellow? Because that's how Aquanauts look. You just, you make things yellow. It's the rules. It's, it's, in, the it's in the manual. No, Raccoon, we just talked about why I shouldn't... Fucking... Oh my god, that alien, he missed. He was right there, and he missed. Fuck that guy. But see, this is why... Look, what? That's a little rude. Uh, he's got a sonic pistol. Ammo. He's got an alien grenade. Uh, Isaac, how much do you have to donate? You don't have to donate anything. If you do donate any amount of money, then we'll put you at the top of the list. That's the benefit of donating money. It guarantees that I don't forget about you, too. Uh, shit. That guy has a- uh, fuck. I, uh... Oh, God. Uh, this is bad. Welp. You- 22 for knowledge of the way- okay, wait. 4, 8, 12... 12, 18... 24, 30... Uh, we're already down to 27, 30, 36, 40, 44, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, Nick, uh, you're boned. You're super 
100% boned. Uh, if you don't die this next round, I swear to God, I I'll be baffled. I mean, I'll be amazed, but also baffled. Oh my god, they're every- why? Why are these guys just waiting in these little rooms? Jesus Christ, I fucking- oh, he has a panel, okay. He's- he's doing a thing, I guess. Alright. No, you can't go through the wall. It's not- that's not allowed. It's not possible. I- fuck these guys. Look- look at these assholes. They're just standing here. They're not even looking at the door. They're just like standing here looking at the wall, thinking about fucking their lunch. Poor- poor Nick pokes his head around like, Oops, sorry to disturb ya. Quietly walks away, Aiden's standing here like, Man, I wonder if Sandy's into me. God, I wish it was meatballs again for lunch today. That bastard Blorg borrowed my... my uh, Top 17 Fish Song CD and hasn't given it back. How dare he. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I don't even want to move these people. Because I'm like, I know. I can just feel it in my bones. When somebody moves out into this strip, they're getting shot. It's gonna happen. So, Isaac, here's the thing, right? Like I said, I've never beaten this game, and I haven't played it in a long, long time. So, I'll be totally honest, I genuinely did not expect anybody to be in this little rooms, because I forgot that this was a monster closet where the designers put, uh, aliens. So I was just like, uh, fuck, well, okay, uh, hi. Nice to see ya, thanks for coming out. If you could just fuck off, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna hide beneath this destroyed staircase. All right. Hi, friend. What? Oh my god. Does he have- wait, wait a second, hold up, does he have a melee weapon? Is that asshole holding a thermal taser? Also, can I just say that I am shocked that Billy Koobel is alive? Billy Koble, whatever you want to say, however you want to pronounce that. Billy, how are you alive right now? My god. Are there any alien friends down here? Oh god, they're hiding in the closets, aren't they? There's like two fucking tentaculats just hiding in the closets. Nope. 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 The Armored. Why is this game harder than UFO Defense? The alien stats are higher. There are more aliens. The level design is more bullshit. Uh, and the- there are a lot of very obtuse, like, nonsensical research requirements that make it, in the original game, before it was patched, that made it almost impossible to win. But mostly there's more aliens, their stats are higher, and the match- the maps are designed to make them more lethal. That- those are the big differences, in my opinion. Uh, no, Nipotera, you are 100% right. I absolutely should have lost three people just there. It's just that 
one of the alien- two of the aliens just decided they didn't feel like fighting today. And they just left their one, uh, the one guy from the back of the ship to come out and casually, like, beat Nick to death. With- I- I swear I think he has a melee weapon. Which is also, fun fact, in the original release of the game, aliens didn't understand to you how to use melee weapons. Axel- oh no, he's dead. He- he's gone. Like, if you die in this game, you die, uh, in real life. After the stream is over, I'm gonna have to drive to his house and put him down. What's the betting? What's the betting that I spend, like, 20 rounds having my whole squad search the bottom here, and there's no fucking aliens anywhere except in the UFO? What's the betting? Why are you unable to throw the- oh my god, because the wreckage is getting in your way? Fuck you. Alright, everyone is uh, appropriately cowering in fear. Good. I keep picking up this same- this same flare, and I'm actually carrying a flare as well, but... I can't throw because these stairs are in the way, so, you know. That's fine. That was the last alien. Alright, we won. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Uh, 173 points. A+. plus. Well done. Good job, everybody. Fantastic. Uh, for anyone who's wondering what just happened, yes. You know that guy who was I was always having doing squats so that he wouldn't reaction fire his explosive shell in close quarters? Yeah, he did exactly that thing. That thing that I, that I was worried about him doing, he did it 100%. And, uh, yeah, okay. Great. Love it. I love it. Hey guys, we, we got 173 points. Fantastic. It all went so well. Uh, Robin Brown got promoted again. Druna got promoted. Uh, ignore these people. And uh, great, good job. We, we took the UFO. We got some Zerbite. Woo! <laughs> okay, to be honest, that actually was a pretty decent mission. Like, yeah, we lost four people, but you know what? It's fine. Like, I expect that shit. What the fuck is an alien learning array? What does an alien learning array even do? And yeah, he had a melee weapon, so the aliens can use melee weapons, confirmed. Uh, fantastic. I love it. I just love it so much. I'm gonna sell all my jet harpoons, cause fuck them. Alright. Um, yeah, so, uh, we've lost eight Aquanauts in two missions. That's fine. That's actually not an insupportable casualty ratio. So, it'll be, it'll be fine. Isaac, I'm sorry, I'm not playing X-Pirates. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. It's not, it's not in the cards. So, yeah, that's, uh, let's, uh, tell you what. Why don't we, uh, go higher? I can't, because I have no money. I have absolutely zero money. 
Uh, what can I sell? I mean, I could sell Sonic weapons, but in this game you actually kind of want Sonic weapons. So, okay, so in this game, the Sonic weapons are balanced a lot tighter against each other. So, like, the Sonic Cannon is the Heavy Plasma, except the Sonic Cannon doesn't have auto-fire. The Blaster Rifle, I think, does have auto-fire, and so does the Sonic Pistol. Um, and they're all, like, they're all good at different jobs. So you kind of want all of them, but you also want some non-Sonic weapons, because there are some aliens who are really heavily resistant to Sonic damage. So, I'll tell you what, actually. I think I might sell the rifles. Just because I desperately need operating funds. I might sell the pistols, too. I'm gonna hold on to the cannons for now, but yeah, I'm gonna sell the rifles and the pistols. Uh, I'll hold on to the ammo, I guess. But yeah, because that gets me 800 grand, and I, I, I need that. Sonic Pulsar is an alien grenade, yes. So let's hire another eight Aquanauts. And let's hire some more technicians, because we need the money. We really do need the money. And two days to finish making our pistols. Okay, bunch more people in the soup. And I'll tell you what, let's start selling stuff. Yeah, so we can make a few hundred grand a month. Just by selling stuff, that's fine. And we'll keep on it with that. What's an accelerator and why are those so expensive? Those are alien engines off of their UFOs. So actually, to be honest, I can sell these because I don't need them this early on. I can sell those, I can sell, and I'll never need many of them. I could probably also sell the magnetic navigation. I need to keep this. This is the item that you have to have in order to research subconstruction. So like, uh, I guess I can't research it yet anyway. Magnetic navigation you need to research first. Um, I don't have any research projects right now, which is weird, so I fucked that up, I guess. But let's research... Uh, shouldn't there be an option to research alien plastics? Uh, maybe not. Let's research... Um... Let's research Zerbite. We need to know that. Okay, so, Aquanauts. Yes, we've got those going. Uh, we had Belduke. We need, uh... Just to, let me let me go through the people who paid money real quick. We need Bert Macklin, FBI. Uh, he, oh god, he's shit. He's not good. That's very appropriate, actually. Did I just rename one of our actual guys, Bert Macklin, FBI? No, he's... Uh, yes, I did. I fucking did. Who did I just... I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Who was it that I just renamed Burt Macklin? You know what? Never mind. It is what it is. Did I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so traumatized by that last mission. Hold on. I'll, 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 I'll get... I'll get here. This is gonna be Burt Macklin. This is Burt Macklin right here. We're gonna get Mike back. Burt Macklin is actually a sniper, so that's fine. Uh, this is this is gonna be Mike here. Hold on. Hold on. Never mind. Nothing happened. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, we've got qualified diver who is a grunt. We've got. Galdir Ionai, who is a scout, actually. High reactions, but cowardly. Not unexpected. Uh, we've got... Don't we already have a Nip and Terry? Don't we already have the Nip and Terry? Or did he die? Or did we never have the Nip and Terry? I think we never had Nip and Terry, so let's put in... Hold on, let me scroll back a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, I think Viper was the first one. So Viper 3, who is a mook. We've got... Adam Slapersky. Sorry, Adam, you don't get to pick who you are. You get what you get. I just go in order. So Adam Slapersky is actually a sniper, but I can use you as a scout if you want. That's not a problem. We've got Garsamore. Garsamore is a scout heavy weapons guy. We've got the Squid Pro, who is a grunt, a mook, a minion, a meat shield, etc. We've got Haloon, who is a... Um... Nah, also a grunt, pretty much. And that's all we have room for. So that's what we got. We got down to Haloon. More signups we'll have to wait for another time. Hey, look, Phaonix, you're the one who put it on. Tetrawolf, can you be a ship? Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine, I can name the submarines after people. Here. Here we've got Tetrawolf. The dup-armed uh, intercept, uh, interceptor flying submarine. I don't actually remember what DUP stands for. It stands for... I can look it up if I want to, but... Eh. Alright, slap some more people on that bad boy. Uh, we do have a lieutenant now. We've got good old Robin Brown. We're actually going to take Robin out of rotation real quick. Put Galdir Ionai on. Yeah, well, too bad, Phaonix. That's your name. Your name is Qualified Diver now. And once again, we have our good buddy, Moreb, the transport. Moreb has followed us through the Alien Wars. He's a good bloke. We like him. Uh, we've got Gauss pistols, but actually we don't have any Gauss ammunition. So let's take 10 guys off making stuff for money. And why don't we make some Gauss clips? Let's make 20 of them. That won't take long and they're cheap, so that's fine. Ah, uh, depleted uranium pellets. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Let's see what the, uh... Okay, we got our wide array sonar. Great. I love that. Fantastic. I wonder why it's just a green tube. I didn't know sonars looked like that. It's very tubular. Totally tubular, dude. Okay, we've got our Gauss pistol clips. Uh, I'm actually gonna, I'll tell you what, I wish there was a way to set this to, yeah, let's set that to infinite. I'm gonna have like eight guys making, oh my god, you can make Gauss pistol clips fast. How many can you make in a month? Jesus. I'm gonna have just one guy making Gauss pistol clips forever. Maybe two guys? No, one guy. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have one guy making Gauss Pistol Clips forever. Just for fun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is a fucking problem. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Just a minute. Hold up. I need to try to remember which of our guns are usable out of the water. Gas cannons are. Hydrojet cannons are not. Torpedo launchers are not. Gauss pistols are. I think grenades work above ground. Die grenades work on above ground. Okay, so I think... 
I think only the rocket launcher isn't going to work of the weapons we're using. Okay, so let's equip. No, we're not just gonna let Bermuda die. I like Bermuda, man. I went to Bermuda on a trip. It was great. I need to buy more torpedoes, incidentally. Uh, Bermuda's cool. Don't, no shit talking, Bermuda. Okay, so we've got jet harpoons. We've got our gas cannons. They'll work. That's fine. We've got Gauss pistols, which will up our damage. Uh, we don't have any... Okay, so we don't have any non-lethal weapons, so we're not going to be able to take anybody captive, actually. Because I didn't buy any thermal tasers, because I'm a moron. So, that's a thing. I'm just going to casually buy some thermal tasers and, and other shit that we need while we're thinking about it. Let's get some, uh, let's get some prox mines. Some more die grenades, some more standard grenades. Not many, just a few. Uh, some more torpedoes. Some more explosive ammunition. Yeah. I don't have enough money to hire. I'll hire scientists after this mission. Okay. Okay. Oh god, it's gonna be nighttime before we get there. Fuck. If we don't do it, our score for this month is gonna be total shit, though. Okay, I don't know how long I can wait before that disappears, but I'm gonna try to... I really want it to be daytime. Don't begin mission. Shit. We gotta do it. Like, we, we don't have another option. We gotta do it. If nothing else, we're going to land. We'll see how bad it is, and if it's absolutely bad, we'll just fucking peace out. So we've got the Gauss pistols, which are good. Like, better. Also, teeny tiny little ammunition clips. Um... So basically... I think I might just replace the jet harpoons with Gauss pistols. They're not as accurate, but they fire a lot quicker. For anybody who has- anybody who has higher strength can have a gas cannon, because that's better, but like low strength guys, I think we're just gonna go with the pistol. It's even actually slightly lighter. Unfortunately, of course, it only has 10 rounds in the magazine. So 20 rounds, you will burn through with this thing. But uh, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you just gotta, gonna have to pick your shots, I guess. Uh, is there anyone who's carrying one of these things that's too heavy for them? Yes. Jet harpoon. You can have a jet harpoon. I'll give you two clips for it. And... Kronos gets that. Mike gets that. Grell is a sharpshooter, actually, so I'll tell you what. Because the Gauss pistol does more damage than the Jet Harpoon. So let's... let's give Grell... the Gauss pistol and some extra ammo. Yeah, let's have kind of this distribution where we give... We give the people who have decent accuracy Gauss pistols and higher ammunition. And then the low accuracy guys can have the harpoons. Broken has 58 accuracy. I mean, that's like, that's, that's good-ish. Alright. Alright, I think this is, this is what we're, uh, I think this is where we're gonna be. We are above ground, and we're on the edge of the map, but the wrong side is on the edge of the map.
Oh, hello, friend. And by friend, I mean, fuck you. Welp, that didn't work out quite so hot. Yeah, this is just a bad situation in general. Okay, well, we killed him. <sighs> Yay, 100 morale. Two for one kill to death ratio. That's fine. Get the smoke down, lads. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. That, I think, was a deep one. So the difference between land and sea missions. Uh, on land missions, some of your weapons don't work, and uh, your guys aren't wearing helmets. That's basically it. And of course the maps are different. Yeah, I just, honestly, I just wasn't expecting there to be someone directly outside the door. And once you've opened the door, it doesn't matter if you skip the turn or not. If you skip the turn, at that point, uh, they'll just shoot in through the open door before it closes and murder everyone. Like, to be honest, once you've opened the door, you pretty much have to kill whoever's out there. Just because, if you don't, even odds they're going to throw a grenade in through the door. Also, there are no Easter Island heads on Bermuda, just FYI, but this is the default, like, island tile set. Which is very, like, tropical island kind of thing. Okay. Who the fuck are you and what are you? Oh my god, what is that? Why is it pink? Why is it inside this hill? How do I kill it? That's not a wall, is it? It can just walk through that. I need I need 18 time units. Don't throw the gun. Okay, well, it's at least somewhat resistant to gauss weapons. Of course, I don't have the fucking rocket launcher on this map, because it doesn't work. Okay. We're just gonna set up so if that thing comes out, we'll hopefully riddle it with bullets. And yes, yeah, so far I would say this is going, like, not great, but not the worst. It's not the worst thing, like, it's not as bad as it could have been. We could absolutely have gotten blaster bombed round one. Okay, another dead civvy. Another dead trooper. I, hmm. I, 
I'm contemplating whether I should just fuck off, to be honest. Because, like... I'm not really geared for this. Yeah, sorry, Galdir. There's, uh, you know what? Sometimes you just die. Uh, yeah, I think I might just, uh... I think I might just fuck off. I think we might, like, we landed, we tried. We limited the damage a little bit, we killed a guy. You know, there's, there's an alien dead who wouldn't have been if not for our stalwart efforts. And now I think it might be time to go home and enjoy the, the rewards of a job well done. Or maybe get shot by reaction fire from somebody I didn't fucking see where that came from. It came from you, I guess. Okay, well, he's dead. Good. Please don't. Please don't. Don't do it. There, see? I've killed three aliens. And now it's time to leave. There we go. Killed three aliens. That's fine. The reason I'm okay with this, by the way, in case you're not aware, if you don't respond to a terror mission, you're, you get a score penalty of negative a thousand. So responding gave me effectively 700 of those points back. There we go. That's fine. And you know what? I'm maintaining uh, what at this point is a strong XCOM tradition of having four people killed in every mission. That's how we do it in XCOM, baby. There's a sub right at the end of the month. Oh, now you're just mocking me. Now you're just mocking me. What kind of equipment do I still have? Uh, we can take the torpedo launcher for this one, probably. Uh, oh god, we lost a gauss pistol. Damn it. Hate that. Take all the flares, take all the diagrams, take all this shit. Oh yeah, we're wasting semen left, right, and center. I would really like some armor, but that's not even an option, I don't believe. Is there anything that I could sell that would be useful? Uh, maybe I'll sell the alien grenades? I don't know. The magnetic navigation, I'm gonna sell two of those. I'll sell an alien learning array and, like, ten of the alien grenades. And I need to buy more scientists. I mean, hire more scientists. Alright. Uh, let's send this guy out after this alien sub. I could have wished you would have waited one more day, dude, because then it would have been the end of the month, would have looked good on the balance sheet. You know what? Actually, this is good. This might give us a chance to earn a few more points to offset that, uh... Offset that mission there. What kind of a sub is... What kind of a, a UFO is that? Is it small? It's small. How are we doing on fuel? Okay, they landed. Let's get them. Tetra Wolf, go, like, make sure that guy doesn't run away while we're en route. Okay. Let's do it. Now, we've got the torpedo launcher. We've got enough flares to actually give one to everybody just as standard. Uh, you have 33 weight, so you can probably carry a gas cannon. Yeah, just barely. That's fine. Uh, Garsamore, you have 37 weight. You can definitely carry a gas cannon. Sharpshooter, let's give you a... Mm. I guess still give you a jet harpoon. 
Now we'll give you we'll, we'll we'll give you the the Gauss pistol. Gauss pistol, and then you want a that, and you want a that, and a that, and one of those in your backpack. You get a pistol and a taser. Uh, we'll give you a taser. You can have a flare. You've already got a flare, good. You can have a flare. You can have a flare. You can have a flare and a taser. You already have a flare. You can have a die grenade, I think. Mike Grell. Uh, who is getting the torpedo launcher? That's an excellent question. I guess it might have to be Garsamore. Oh no, Kronos can have it. And, uh, Taser for self-defense? What do you think? Yeah, Taser for self-defense. This is the second landed submission I've done. The first one went fine. Only four people died. Also, SCC Demat is clearly wearing lipstick, which is, I mean, that's fine. That's cool. But not what I expected. Alright, let's do this thing. Where's a... hold on. There's a smoke. Hey, Kazuar, uh, Streamlabs donation. I'm not sure. Hold on. I can find out. Your activity... I should be able to find out. Yes, it did! Thanks for the three dollars, dude! Oh, Cory, twenty-five dollars! Man, how did I miss that one? Jesus, I'm sorry to miss that, you guys. I guess I didn't... I guess they're not... they're coming through on a different, uh... Yeah, I guess they're showing up on a different... screen. Okay. Wow, well, man, I appreciate that. Alright, now, hold on one second. I, I clicked out of the screen. Yep, okay, there we go. Now we're back. Alright. Good, and we're back against the edge of the map. Oh, we're in a quarter. Hey, look, the pilot is learning. I mean, we got Moreb driving this thing now, and look, Moreb's a veteran. Moreb knows what's up. He knows how to do this shit. So, excellent. Appreciate you, Moreb. Is it really Pride Day? I mean, I know it's Pride Month. By the way, happy Pride Month, everybody. Go out there and smooch your significant other. Any aliens about? Yes, there are. Ooh, he's got his back turned. Maybe we can assassinate him while he's looking away. Oh, they both have their backs turned. Fantastic. Uh, I have 27. Yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to go with auto shot. Oh god, it didn't kill him. Fuck. Fuck. Abort. Abort. Now, can you can you hit him? Well, close. Uh, I'll tell you what. Hold on. Need 40 total, right? So prime that. There we go. Have fun with that, buddy. That's just for you. 
a present from your buddies at XCOM. To... Uh... Can I? Oh, not enough time units. What? No, I should... Ah, fuck. Okay, fine. I can't grenade him then. Man. Way to spoil my fun. Is that a nuclear missile silo? I don't know. Might be. That's classified. You're not allowed to know that. But hey, we got uh, Well, I mean, he's been grenaded, so it's going to explode. And when it does, it should kill him, because he's just an aquatoid. I'm frankly a little surprised and possibly alarmed that he survived a Gauss pistol shot. All right, hold on. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving through screens real quick. All right, cool. Viper, you should know by now, XCOM are the last people cleared to know anything, because you're all incredibly dangerous maniacs. If XCOM knew that there was a nuclear missile silo underneath the water, they would probably assault it, seize it, and launch nukes at places they thought alien bases were. Got he. All right, where'd that alien go? Is he still there? Damn it, he moved. I really shouldn't be scouting with Gamaranma. I keep doing this. Gamaranma is not the scout. Gorsamar is the scout. Billy. Go on out there, Billy Coble. Yeah, new XCOM is like four action movie heroes, and old XCOM is like 14 uh, guys you found. Like, the, the canon backstory for this game is that when XCOM was founded, they solicited volunteers from, like, the elite units of, uh, of all the militaries of the world. And my head canon, addendum to that, has always been that the various militaries took that opportunity to get rid of their fucking, like, worst soldiers. Just, you know, just like, oh yeah, absolutely, he's special forces. And he's an asshole and nobody likes him. Yeah, you can have him. Sure. Uh, we've got... Kronos. We've got Burt Macklin FBI. And we've got Adam Sliperski. Alright. Welp, there goes Garsamor. Okay. Yep, great. I, I love that. Loved that. And he just walked away again. We appreciate your sacrifice, Garsamor. Trust me. Honest. God, this map is so big. All the maps are so big!
I mean, I think we've got the mission. Like, unless something goes absolutely disastrously wrong, which, to be fair, it 100% could at any time. What was that? Did you guys hear that noise? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, Roscoe's still carrying this primed grenade, which isn't the best. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Ros- God damn your noodle arms, Roscoe. God damn them to hell. Uh, qualified diver. See, we can use these hills for cover from this direction. But there's that alien who's down here, who took that shot that killed Gamma Ronma, is probably gonna kill somebody else next turn. And then there's more aliens everywhere. You know, we have to count on them being everywhere at all times. Fuck! I didn't mean to hit that button! God damn it! Fucking... All right, Billy, kill him. Oh my God, Billy killed someone by accident. Billy, please. Billy, I really need you to do better than that. I really, I'm really counting on you, Billy. Okay, there we go, Matt took care of it. So yeah, Billy actually did kill someone, because he fired past this alien, and I heard a death scream behind him, so... Uh, you know, did... Yeah, did... That's fine, I'll take it. You know? That's good performance, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get Viper, let's get Adam Slipersky right up here. Definitely seeing the flaw in assigning my sharpshooters this, this pistol, because it's pretty, uh... It's pretty, pretty shit at the whole accuracy thing. I should have stuck with the gas cannons, but oh well. It is what it is. And Bert, so we got one, two, three, four, six, nine, ten. We still got 12 guys. We've killed more aliens than we've lost people, so overall it's fine. There he is. There he is, boys! Well, no joy from Mrs. Grell. Alright, Matt, show him how you do it. That's how you do it. Matt up here showing y'all up. I mean, Matt is just up here scoring kills, taking names, kicking ass. Oh, there's another one. Well, uh, fuck you. Come on, man. Can I... Hmm... Uh, hmm. Sort of awkward, isn't it? There we go, Gamoranma. Performing. Get Adam. What 
Let's get Adam right here. These aren't even the torpedoes, these are just the gas cannons. See, this is why in this game where, like, nothing has auto-fire that's any good, I think the gas cannons are probably the best starting weapon by a long shot. Hey, 6P, nice of you to join us. Because, like, the, the autocannons, like, the autocannons you can't use above ground. They're kind of, they kind of suck for that reason. Um, let's, let's take this gun and the clip, just in case, you know. And good old bit of cable here. Walk across this uh, giant undersea mine or whatever it is. In fact, just kneel on top of it. He doesn't even- Billy doesn't even care. Billy doesn't give a shit. Alright. No whammy, no whammy. Ah, no whammy. Get Mike up here to get a little bit of a look-see. Oh, there's a box. That's almost the edge of the map. Let's see if Drunut can get visual on the edge. That's the edge right there. How far can I go? Oh, that would be a bad idea. We're just gonna we're gonna go right here. Ah, fuck! Now he can't kneel. I fucked up. I think there's more than one left. We haven't seen the ship yet. But I think there's more than one left. That... those anemones make very... distressing sounds when you walk on them. Like, I'm not super comfortable with that. that croaking. Please stop croaking. Gamarama's just gonna stay there for right now. Roscoe, um... Take another grenade just in case you need it. Billy can take cover behind this rock. Alright. Pushing forward. Uh, we don't know how many are on the ship because we haven't found the ship yet. There's where those two dead aliens were. But it is very quiet. Very, very quiet. Oof, that creaking. Probably up here in the corner where we have tons and tons of unexplored space still. Because our guys move at approximately the speed of molasses drying underwater. Pushing the line forward. Trying to make sure we aren't all exploded by aliens. Roscoe, my buddy, my pal. Let's 
Still not really finding anything. Billy boy. Alright, Drunuk can can hit the edge of the map now, so there's the edge of the map. Good. Stand on that rock, why don't you? And Viper. Head over that way. Alright. Oh, does the smoke slow me down in this game? What the fuck? Okay. Alright, I, I, I'll keep that in mind then. I did not know that. Okay, we've got decent vision now. Not perfect still by any means. But we're getting there. Billy, why don't you get in that corner right there? Alright, well, that's weird, but okay. I will take that under advisement. Yes, it's die. It's not technically smoke, it's a aha. Aha! An alien. Alright, who has a shot on him? Let's move. Maybe Kronos. Maybe Kronos. Boom! Kronos with the torpedo launcher. Yeah, I mean, Kazuar is correct. It's basically all the same kind of damage. It, it follows the same repetitive damage mechanism that incendiary damage does, which is hilarious. Also, why incendiary damage doesn't matter in this game. In either of these games, I should say, because uh, incendiaries... So, incendiaries were designed so that you take damage from them every round. However, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Well, that's a... Uh, hmm, that might be a problem. Sorry, Matt. I apologize in advance if you're murdered this turn. Uh, can Mike get to somewhere useful? Not really. Mike could go here. Yeah, the Viper, don't don't think about it. Don't think about it too hard. You'll you'll hurt your brain. You won't learn anything. I don't think I'm actually in any kind of cover there. Uh, can I maybe yeah, that's that's fine. Coming over this hill is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Okay. Let me actually go way up north. I don't think there's anybody still up here, but just in case. I'm gonna have Drunak keep scanning, as it were. Look, Viper, you know what else shouldn't work? Uh, a charged particle weapon firing a beam underwater. That shouldn't work. That, like, 110% shouldn't work. But, and yet, here we are with our Gauss pistols. Why don't I buy tanks? Uh, because I just haven't yet. That's why. I don't have a real good reason not to do so. Okay, this is the same kind of UFO, right? Yes, this is a penis. Okay, got it. Penis ship, right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, we gotta get over the hill. Uh, we've got a little bit of smoke there. That might provide a tiny, tiny bit of concealment. Don't! I hate when I misclick in this game. It's the worst. Aha! A friend! Friend right there. Is there anyone in position to shoot friend? Possibly Bert. Bert Macklin FBI with the kill beyond visual range. Very nice, Bert. No whammy. Okay. No. 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 All right. Nobody moved. I think whoever's left is inside the UFO. At this point, I'm. I'm like pretty sure. They're in the UFO. Now, this time, this time, let's try not using anybody with explosive weapons inside, inside the alien sub. That seems like probably a good idea. So we'll get Roscoe. We'll get Roscoe, we'll get Miss Grell, we'll get Viper. We'll get Adam. Okay, well, I was wrong. Well, okay, I mean, that was, like, that helped some. Cleared out some cover, for sure. Honestly, my guys are being really pretty damn accurate with these explosive cannons. And Billy Boy! Billy Boy, get over here! Drunit! Uh, you're, like, way the fuck back behind. Changing elevation in this game costs so many time units. So many time units. Uh, Mike, get up here. Alright. We got Adam. We got Mike. Mike's probably actually going first, because he's got the stun rod, too. I don't think there's anybody in here that we really need to stun, but, like, you know, it can't hurt. We've got Roscoe. We've got Miss Grell. Uh, Gamarama, that's the edge of the map, so I think we're basically safe there, but let's get Gamarama hidden behind this hill just in case. Oh lord. Don't know what Ask Jeeves is. Oh, you poor sweet summer child. Uh, yes, this is on veteran difficulty. The difficulty where aliens do miss sometimes. Let's get Viper in there. Uh, Matt, you can go around the tip. And 
just, you know, make sure nobody's waiting to murder us and eat our giblets. Uh, Viper, yeah, I restarted compared to, like, this is not the same game as last stream's game was, because last game's, last stream's game was an unholy disaster. Imperialis, don't you fucking, don't, don't, don't. And we're going to send Burt Macklin FBI down towards the tip, too. Door? 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 No door. Uh, ooh, we can get all the way over the other side. Let's do that. Okay, we got five people ready to go. We got Billy Cable coming up behind him, albeit he's almost out of energy, so he can't walk very far because he's a wimp. By the way, please understand, I am joking. I, 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 I say these rude things that I say about all you fine people who have volunteered to be soldiers in a jocular and loving manner. So, fun fact, according to my my YouTube, like, stats page, because they give me all sorts of data mined information about y'all, because uh, they're a, a corporation that's trying to control the world, like all of them are, uh, my average viewer is a dude between, I think it was 26 to 34, uh, who is from the United States, the UK, or Germany. My second largest group is is dudes from the United States, UK, or Germany who are like 45 to 56. Or 45 to 60, something like that. Anyway, there's a significant contingent of y'all who are like middle-aged, which I think is really cool to be honest. And I mean, it makes sense because I'm playing games that that age cohort uh, is, is very familiar with. Hi, friend. Oh my god, he missed. <coughs> Sorry, choking on my emotions. Um, let's stun him. Can I stun him? You wanna come home with me, buddy? Oh, sweet, that was the end. Nice! <clears throat> uh, Roscoe, this came out in 95, I believe. And look at that. Look at that. A mission with only two losses. God damn, we're good. Lost two operatives, killed eight aliens, recovered one alien alive, 25 alien artifacts, all kinds of stat level ups for people, lots of plus one accuracy. Good, good shit. I had Qualified Diver got promoted and, oh no, sorry, Qualified Diver and Garsamore were killed, never mind. Rip. Rest in peace. Look, I'm getting back, I'm getting in the groove of it. I'm figuring out how this shit works. It's just like UFO defense, except much, much worse. Just incredibly more painful and damaging. Uh, we've got a whole bunch more Aquatoid corpses we can sell off. We don't need one of those. I could probably make do with, I'm gonna sell off a couple more of those, to be honest. Uh, alien sub construction, I don't know how many of those I need. I'm definitely gonna sell off at least two of the learning, I may, I'm gonna sell off all the learning arrays. I don't think this is a vital research. I don't think I'm gonna bother with it. <laughs> Demoted to the afterlife. Uh, yeah, sure, that's a good way to think about it. You know what, that's solid. Uh, somebody is, hold on, hold on one second, somebody is sending me Discord messages, what are they trying to say to me?
Oh, nothing super important. Okay, never mind. Back in action. Uh, we're still manufacturing Gauss pistols and pistol clips. Just make infinite. Yeah, there we go. Make me money. Please, God, make me money. <laughs> okay, Ms. Grell, thanks for joining us. Appreciate ya. Uh, yeah, overall, this is going pretty well. I actually am probably gonna... Let's end the month here and see how we're going. Um, okay, so I lost money because my monthly rating was negative. Uh, the USA and the Euro Syndicate are unhappy with me. So, okay, yes, to be fair, I did leave Bermuda to be burned down by aliens. Uh, but in my defense, uh, fuck those guys, am I right? Right. By the way, it's January 2040, so yeah, this takes place exactly 40 years after the first alien war. Uh, but I still made some money. Income of... Went up by about 3 million, which is good. And now that I'm manufacturing... So I'm making, you know, 900 grand a month in manufacturing. As my operation expands, that will get larger. So, for example, right now, I'm actually going to hire... Let me hire six more of these guys. And then I'm going to spend pump most of my money into hiring more scientists and more technicians. Uh, and then build more living quarters. And maybe another lab... Let's go with another, hmm. Let's go with another general stores. And then another workshop, maybe? How many workshops do I have? I think I only have the one. Got one under construction. So yeah, then let's build another lab as well. Okay. Yeah, get stiff. Uh, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna call this stream in about 20 minutes here. We're going a little bit shorter with this game than we were with UFO Defense. It's a little more tense, to be honest. But let's see what happens. We're researching Zorbite. Beyond that, we're just kind of waiting for the rain to come. Well, there it is. There's another alien sub. I am gonna shoot this one down because I don't need more Zorbite right now. And fuck these guys. That's my reason for a lot of things, to be honest. Okay, alien sub down. Uh, before I forget, let me buy a few more torpedoes. What do pilots do when the mission is happening? I presume they just kind of stay quietly inside the, uh... inside their submarine and try to evade notice. It's probably what I would do. All right, we've got everybody coming on this mission. Uh, in terms of what we want to bring, I'll be honest, the Gauss pistols are not impressing me. I'm gonna cut those back and take some more gas cannons. Like we could take nine Gauss, nine gas cannons, four jet harpoons, we have the torpedo launcher, and then we can just use the Gauss pistols as, like, sidearms for scouts. And I think that would be fine. In fact, I think we could actually cut out the jet harpoons. Have nine, one, and four. Yeah, that's enough. I think we can get rid of jet harpoons at this point. Alright, Adam. <laughs> Talk to you later, man. Uh, yeah, let's take... Let's go four Gauss pistols and 12 clips. And then no jet harpoons. I think that would be best. Tentatively. All right, let's run this mission and then I'm probably gonna call it at that point. I didn't mean to press that button. That I I was trying to say okay. All right. That's fine, I guess. Oh, hey, we found Lost Atlantis or possibly Relay.
So, some of my guys here are going to not have weapons, because I took away all of the, uh, yeah. So they're just gonna have to pick up guns as they go, which is, uh, fine, probably. Probably fine. This is definitely, uh, Atlantis Relay or both. Cool. Nice. I'm down for it. I'm digging it. I'm having a good time. Robin, could you just pick up some... some weaponry here and... roll out? Once again, we're near the corner. I do like the fact that the AI in this game tends to, like, it seems like it tries to land in corners. Which makes the map seem bigger, and also makes it a little bit more of a defensible landing position. Uh, Billy, I'll tell you what, why don't you drop that? Why don't you take that? Drop that. Drop that. Take that. I mean, I guess you're right, it could be Theridos. You right. Here's Grill. Here's our good old friend, Mr. Damat. Don't see any aliens so far, which only spurs my paranoia. Just remember, it's not paranoia if they really are out to get you. Can you make it up there? No? Okay, fine. Then just go, like, over there. And the rest! Get ready, because you'll be out there soon enough. Roscoe, uh, you... Goddamn. Alright, fine. You can have a pistol, then. Because you're weak. So that was a door, so there are at least intact UFO doors. Alright, Billy. Oh. Uh, oh! Gilman! Okay, we've moved up to the second alien type. Um, I think I need to capture one of these guys for something, but I don't know if it needs to be a specific one. I don't remember. Hold on. One second. Um, ba 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 Yeah, so you need a... a Gilman corpse. And if you research a Gilman commander... It can unlock one of the late the end game tech end game researches, but not all of them. Okay, so I don't need to capture one alive. I just need to murder one and research its body. Fair enough. So let me. Okay, let me not do that. I tell you what. Can you hit him? Yes, you can. Good job. Matt, my lad. Let's get Billy Coble in here where he can be in some cover. And we'll set up Robin Brown. No, let's set up another sniper with him. Uh, let's set Miss Grell up there as well. No, you have to research- you do have to research Gilman Corpse in order to get the Thermic Lance, which is the- the melee weapon. Like, the mid-tier melee weapon. Which is important in this game, because melee weapons are the only things that reliably kill lobstermen 
in less than infinite hits. Robin, get behind that wall. I do like this tile set, by the way. Like, it's kind of cool. We've got all this, like, the wreckage of the ancient drowned city. And it's cool that this game just kind of throws this stuff in here, like, oh yeah, also this is here. Uh, yes, Viper, there are several different melee weapons. in this game. Melee weapons are a vital part of the tech tree because, as I said, one of the scarier... Actually, you know, Lobstermen, the funny thing about Lobstermen is, while they're, like, heavily memed, they're not even really one of the scarier enemies in this game. Like, there are plenty of scarier aliens than Lobstermen. And we've got one last guy without a gun, and it's gonna have to be a Gauss Pistol, because that's all that's left. Take your taser out, pick up your grenade. You have a, a prox mine as well, which is neat. <clears throat> Kronos, head up towards the top. Well, so the thing about Lobstermen is just that they're tough. Like, that's pretty much all that they've got going for them. They're they're tough, they have high HP, they're fairly accurate, but not unusually accurate. And then you have, like, the fucking Tezoth, who are the Ethereals and Mutons blended together to make one horrific alien super soldier. And you've got the Tentaculats, which are chrysalids, but they fucking fly. And, you know, just the general standard of scariness for the aliens in this game is way higher. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, like, there are, like, three times kinds of alien in this game that are just fucking horrifying. Hello, Mr. Alien! I want to meet you! Ooh. That's interesting. Damn. That's cool. All these statues and shit around here. There's the UFO. Yeah, the, uh, once again, it's, looks like it's pretty much just exploded. I wonder where they're hiding. Well, there's one of them. Ah, damn it, he turned. Hey, Bert might be in a little danger, but, um, Squid, how strong are you? You have strength 36. Do you have a grenade? No. Out of range. Alright, squid. You need 13 to throw that. Ah, oh, fuck! You moved too far. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to throw the grenade the next round. That's okay, probably. That'll probably be fine. Actually, no. Gamma has the muscles of a of a god over here. Package delivery. Uh 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go back over this way. I do enjoy the fact that in this game, half the time, the safest way to deploy is, like, by walking over your submarine. Like, that's kind of a cool little thing. Isn't there an option to show exact TU cost for movement? Uh, in, in OpenXCOM, yes, there is. I don't typically use it. I couldn't give you a real clear reason why, it just, I don't know. It seems more cheaty than some of the other options, somehow, to my grognard brain. It feels like that ought to be the kind of thing that I can take care of by myself. And, like, I don't feel bad about people dying if I fuck that up, because, like, I was supposed to do that and I fucked it up. I do have the thing on that lets you double, you know, that makes you click and see the path and then confirm movement, which I think is help enough. Okay, well, he's not dead. But we did hurt him a little bit. At the very least, we hurt his feelings, and that's really what matters. Uh, hmm. Got some pillars in the way. I don't like that, really. 25 for a snapshot. See, I really just don't want to shoot this pillar and die. I really would like to not do that. So let me... If I go over there, I'll have a clear shot. There we go. Now, Adam. Oh. Just keep grenading these people. And keep advancing under the cover of the sunken ruins of Relay. There we go. Also, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, I didn't comment this on this, but we have a hundred viewers. Over a hundred viewers, and we have for, like, most of this stream's length. Uh, thanks. I, I'm honestly kind of shocked by that amount of attention, but I appreciate y'all watching. Whoever you are. I don't know how I tricked so many of you people into thinking that I'm good at this. Uh, let's get Mike down here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Haloon has just been standing here like an asshole, not really doing anything, so let's, uh... I, I, I think all of the people who died last time I tried to play this game might have an objection to someone saying that I'm great. But, uh... <laughs> this is a bold move. Uh, hmm. Well... Well, okay. I'll tell you what. Let me, let me just, hold on a second. Hang on, hang on a second, hang on. No line of fire, fucking. How about here? Here? There? There? Oh, I can shoot there. Well, that's weird. Ah, yes, Galdir coming in with the radical honesty. We're watching specifically because you're not good at this. I mean, I can understand that. All right. All right, this guy got... Th this guy gots to go. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this guy. 23 for a snapshot. Look, buddy. Do me a favor. Well, okay, Kronos, that was a little... That was a little over-enthusiastic.
Ugh. Honestly, here's, here's what I would say about my gaming skill. If I'm analyzing myself in like a, a full and honest manner. I don't typically become great at games. But, I learn games very quickly. So, I go, I go from don't know what the fuck I'm doing to mediocre pretty fast. And then once I'm mediocre, that's enough for me to like talk about it and play it and not be embarrassed to do things on camera. So, you know. That's kind of the level I enjoy. Like, I, honest, I honestly don't like doing... Like, once you have full mastery of a game systems, there's all sorts of abusive shit that you do that just makes it trivial, which I don't, I don't like doing that. But I enjoy the kind of the area where I'm like, I know how the game works, mostly, and I know what to do, and I have a decent idea what my chances are at any given thing, but I still don't know enough that sometimes I don't do just some absolutely dumbass shit. Like this, like run Gamoranma out into the middle of fucking nowhere, where he's about to be shot by this, uh, this gill man just directly in the face. Got that one. Yep, there he goes. There she goes. There she goes again. Exploding underwater. Fucking... There are so many of them. They're everywhere. They are everywhere and forever. They are eternal. Oh, well, okay. That one's not eternal. That one's dead. It's also interesting, it, it's an interesting choice on the part of the game designers here that so much of this terrain is not very susceptible to being blown up with rockets. See ya, Daniel! Thanks for joining. So, like, in the first game, you use rockets early on as mostly terrain clearance. In this game, you can do that against some things, but like all these pillars and stuff are not are, are too tough for the rockets to explode. So the rocket launcher kind of has a little bit less of a niche, I think. The rocket's a little weaker than in UFO Defense, and then the, the gas cannon is stronger than the heavy cannon was in UFO Defense. So you're kind of incentivized to just use the gas cannon for everything. I mean, like, look. Look, SDK. Look at this UFO. And we've already killed one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, how long do you think you would be happy in this space with five other guys? Even if they weren't swamp monsters. But hey, you know what? If we win this game with only... If we win this mission with only Gamaranma having died, I'm gonna call that good, man. As far as I'm concerned, that is mission accomplished right there. Hey, Viper, welcome back. In the interim, uh, a guy died. Poor Gamaranma. We will remember you. Nope, the only person who's died on this mission so far is Gamarama. Uh, Kronos, yeah, Kronos stay up here on, on Rocket Overwatch. Drunet, however, can come down. Oh uh, yeah, this is the same mission. Dude, missions in this game, come on now. They always take like 20 minutes or more. In a three hour stream, I generally don't get more than, I don't know, five or six missions done. 
I actually don't have any idea. If you wanted to, you could go back and count uh, the missions in all of my streams, but that would be way too much work, and I'm not going to do it. Hello? Friends? No friends! Good. I don't know what that lumpy thing is on the ground, but I'm going to assume that it's probably, I don't know, radioactive. This is actually a pretty small map. Like, compared to the other maps, this one's small. Hmm. Cool, though. Oh, really? Is that what's happening? Interesting. Yeah, I was wondering, because this is clearly like a, like a tiny scout. Like, this is even smaller than the, uh, the small scouts in, in UFO defense. Interesting. Kazuwa hitting us with the TFTD facts. So here's, here's my other question. Uh, fact man. Where the fuck are the rest of these gill men? They're hiding from me. They're afraid of me. They fear the power of XCOM. I'll tell you what. Let's try. Uh, let's try going up into this this giant like cyclopean stone temple. Nothing ever goes wrong if you do that. That's always a good idea. See, this is a fantastic idea right here. Look, there's got like a little roof thing over the I don't know this area and all kinds of cool shit. Look at this building. This is super neat. You can come up, just walk up here. And you might be able to fire over those, because those look like not quite full full height blocks. So yeah, you can probably shoot over those. Uh, you might struggle to shoot down. Yeah, I think firing down you'd be likely to hit the block. But if you were firing at something on your level, like a tentaculate or something, you could probably shoot straight over them. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, don't worry. Later in this game, later in this game, we're gonna see some fucking map sets. I tell you what, there are some there are some tile sets in this game that are just designed to make you uh, curse God and die. Like the cruise ships. Oh God, the cruise ships. The alien colonies are the worst. Look, in my entire XCOM career. I have played exactly one TFTD colony assault mission. It was a wipe. Like, I I got into... So, in case you don't know, in TFTD, all alien bases, or alien colonies as they're called, are like uh, Cydonia. They're all double level maps. So you fight your way through the first level, then you get down into the second level. That's where the command center actually is. Um... It, and it's a fucking nightmare. It's like the worst thing you can do in the game is go on a colony assault. Uh, because, and you just, like, you will die. You, you have no other option. Except death. No line of fire. What, what the fuck do you mean no line of fire? Come on now. Uh, hmm. Well, crouch, I guess. Where is he going? Uh, yeah, and then the, the final mission is like, uh, that whole situation turned up to 11 with three levels and it's a nightmare. 
with no escape. But so yeah, the, the one colony assault mission I did, uh, I lost, I brought 14 people, I lost nine of them on the first stage. I got to the second stage with five people, and round one, uh, two of my guys were mind controlled, and they just turned around and straight up executed the other three with, like, point-blank headshots. Just St. Valentine's Day Massacre style. Uh, and then, of course, I immediately lost. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's Terror from the Deep Colony missions. Ooh, ooh, Kronos. Kronos, are you, are you gonna be the hero? Are, are you the hero right now? No, you're not the hero. Damn it. Uh, if you're out, if you're over here, could you be the hero? Mm, I'm not gonna try it. After this, am I gonna play Apocalypse? I don't know. Um... I've, I've like, never played any real amount of Apocalypse. I think I picked Apocalypse up, like, once and played it for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. But beyond that, I've never really touched Apocalypse. Um, whew, excuse me. So, I don't know. Um, possibly, probably, if I do, definitely not immediately. Uh, I would, I would definitely take some time to do some other Ooh, I have Miss Grell right here. Hey there. Oh, fuck, he lived. That's not what I wanted. Oh god, he went into the temple. He's hiding inside the temple. Is Apocalypse any good? Yeah, Apocalypse is fine. I mean, it's not... It's not quite as distinctive as the first two, I would say. Yeah, he's hiding inside the temple. That's sort of hilarious slash terrifying. Um, it's not quite as distinctive as the first two games, but it's a solid game in its own right. Like, it's not bad. Uh, Sir Dong Knight, I have actually, I haven't finished Mechanicus, but I've been playing Mechanicus for the last few months. Um, just off and on. I like Mechanicus. I do enjoy it. Uh, it's much more... It, it, I would say it has more in common with the new XCOM than it does with the old XCOM, actually. It's a good game, though. Like, I do enjoy it. Have I ever played the UFO series? Nope. Never have. Heard they're good, though. He's probably gonna pop back out next turn. I don't think there's a way down to him from the top of the temple. Like, I don't think... I can't... Yeah. You can't really go anywhere once you're up here, which is too bad, because it's really neat. Like I said, this would be... If these were a little bit lower yet, like if these were half-height blocks, so that you could you could reliably fire over them, this would be a really, really cool defensive position. All right, let's kind of move people in and, and try to get them into cover. And then we'll have to go in and flush him out. All right. Damn. Tough bastard. There we go, we got him. Woo! That was a good mission. That was a damn good mission. Only one casualty. Six aliens killed, 21 artifacts recovered, all we got out of the sub was some aquaplastics, but that's fine. You know what? I'll take it. And plus two accuracy on Matt. Matt's getting... Matt's getting pretty good. Plenty of strength ups. Some throwing accuracy ups, lots of HP ups, lots of stamina ups. Roscoe, look at Roscoe. Roscoe is turning into a monster. Plus four time units, plus six strength, HP accuracy, plus four, plus six stamina, I'm sorry. HP accuracy and strength. 
He's doing good. All right. Uh, we did lose Gamaranma, unfortunately. Gamaranma was pretty solid, but not bad, not bad. All right, let's... Uh, we're going to call it there. It's the 1st of February. We've gone for a solid month. We have done some good work. We've lost some people. We've had some good times. We laughed. We cried. We killed aliens. It's going pretty well. I think we're, I think we're settling into the groove. We're doing all right at this point. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm having a blast with this. I hope you're having a blast watching it. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, well, I'll see you again next week. Should still be Terror from the Deep. Uh, if I have a day off in the middle, I have a day off in the middle of the week. And depending on what I have to do, I may try to stream something then. If I do, it won't be Terror from the Deep. It will be something else in the middle of the week. Uh, but regardless, I will let you know, as usual, through the community tab and through my Discord server. So sign up there if you want to keep tabs on things. Uh, also, where I recruit for multiplayer games if I'm playing multiplayer games of anything. So keep your eye out for stuff. And I will see you all next time. Thank you very much. See you later.